Welcome viewers. This is a continuation of our class on differential equation and we are still looking at formation of differential equation. Please, if you are new in this YouTube channel, do ensure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell for you to be notified anytime we upload mind-blowing content. And ensure our policy here is that you should not skip any part of this video if you must understand everything that we are going to teach in this video. Now guys, look at it. We have on the board question number three. We are still solving problems, right? Yeah, formation of differential equation. Now we have on the board, we are asked to form a differential equation from the function this. All we do, we put down our solution. We have that y is equal to ax squared plus bx. And we can call this equation one. Let's call this equation one for work. Yeah. Now, at this point, guys, in this particular equation, we need to identify the numbers of variables here. Of course, what are the numbers of variables here we have? First is y, second is a, third is x, and fourth is b. So, we have four variables here, and we know that two of these variables, one is dependent, the other is independent. Then every other one that we have, they will definitely become a arbitrary constant. And still looking at our definition, we know that S and Y are the variables that we will consider here. So outside X and Y, any other thing that is present in this equation, A and B are arbitrary constants. So we can simply state where A and B are arbitrary constants. Using the boundary condition, guys, like I said, here we will be used to the use of boundary condition if we will not make mistakes. So the first boundary condition is, now that I know that I have two arbitrary constants, guys, this equation is going to be what? Second order differential equation. That's number one. Then number two is, since I have two arbitrary constants, I am going to differentiate this function to consecutive time. You see, guys, this is very simple. Very, very simple. Now, let's go. So, we will start by differentiating these functions. So, we already know that we are going to differentiate, right? So, we differentiate y dy over dx. is because of that. When we differentiate k s squared, we are going to have 2 a s. Of course, we know that a is a constant. We are differentiating with respect to s. So, all we just need to do is to bring down the power of x, which is 2, which is this 2, and reduce 2 by 1. So, when you say 2 minus 1, guys, you are going to have one. So, we don't need to put the 1 here. So, we already know that this is 2 a s raised to power 1, right? Then, plus, when you differentiate b s, guys, you are going to have only the constant s disappears. So, this will give us equation 2. Next, we are going to differentiate the second time, being that this equation or this function contains two arbitrary constants. Then we will differentiate two times and our outcome will also become second order differential equation. Now guys, so when you differentiate 2as, understand that 2a is a constant. When I differentiate 2as, understand that s will disappear, right? Then plus b, and when you differentiate b, anytime you differentiate constant is zero. Now we are differentiating b with respect to s, but there is no trace of s here. That's why this portion is going to be zero. So we are supposed to have 2a plus zero. But now we do not need this zero. So we remove the zero. This become equation three, guys. Now what do you do from equation three? You are going to make a. Now when you look at this, now you discover that. Sorry, this is square. So when you look at this equation, now you discover that in this equation, we have only one arbitrary constant. That means I can make A the subject of formula here. So I can say from equation 3, make A the subject of formula. And that, we are going to have A is equal to, we are going to, to make A the subject of formula here, guys. We are going to divide equation 3 by 2. So when we divide both sides by 2, guys, we are going to have this as 1 over 2, d square y over the s squared, and this will give us equation 4. All this is understood, yes. All I just need to do is to come and divide the left hand side by 2, or divide both sides by 2. 2 cancel out 2 here, we are left with A, and the 2 will be at the denominator. That's exactly what we have here. That's all. Now we have made A the subject of formula. Understand that 
for us to be able to get the actual differential equation, we must have eliminated A and B. And the only way to eliminate A and B is to make A and B subjects of formula respectively. Alright? So that we have made A the subject of formula. Now, what do we do? What do we do? We are going to make B the subject of formula from equation 2 and as well substitute for A. You know that in equation 2 now, we have A and B, right? And of course, we already know the value for A in terms of the dependent variable, sorry, and the independent variable, right? Yes, in terms of the dependent variable and the independent variable, okay? Now, we want to make B the sort of formula here, but we understand that in this equation 2, we have both A and B. So we need to substitute the value of B here, A here, and then make B the sort of formula. So all we need to do is to say substitute Substitute equation 4 into equation 2 and make B the subject of formula. Hope this is, the, is clear. Now, let's head on to the other page as we start solving. So now what we do is to come to equation 2. Equation 2 we have d square y, sorry, dy over dx is equal to 2. Now, guys, what is a? a is 1 over 2 d square y over dx squared times x. Oh, buddy. With all just this is 2, which is this 2. The value for a is what we have in the equation for. So, in place of a, we are going to replace a by which one? 1 over 2 d square y over the s. That's exactly what we just did now. Now we have here. Then this last x here, we cycle here, is this one here. So we are done with it. Then the next term here in this equation 2 is plus b. So in this equation, we can make b the subject of formula. So what do we do here? 2, we take care of 2. We are going to have dy over dx is equal to s times this time. We are going to have s d square y over the s squared plus b. And at this point, we can make b the subject of formula. And when we do that, we are going to have b is equal to, when we take this across the sign of the quality, if we turn towards the negative sign, then we are going to have the y over the x, then minus, when this crosses, it now becomes minus s d squared y over the s all squared. Now, this will have given us equation 5. Guys, the next thing we are quickly going to do is now that we have made the first arbitrary constant is the subject of formula and we have equally made the second arbitrary constant the subject of formula, all we just need to do now is to substitute equation 4 and 5 into equation 1. That's all. So, substitute, substitute equation 4 and 5 into equation 1. This is equation 4, which happens to be the value for A. This is equation 5, which happens to be the value for B. So to substitute, we are going to have equation 1. This is equation 1. A, X squared, plus BX. This is it, guys. All we need to do now is to replace A by equation 4 and replace B by what we have at the right-hand side of equation 5. So, guys, we are going to have Y is equal to what is A? A is over 2 D squared y over the x squared all multiplied by x squared. This is it. So for this, value of a is what we have inside this bracket. Then plus, the value of b, guys, is open bracket dy over dx minus x squared. Then all multiplied by x. At this point, all we simply need to do, guys, is to remove the bracket. Now we clear up the bracket and by so doing, we are going to have y is equal to s squared times this whole bracket. We are going to have s squared over 2 d squared y over the s squared. Then plus s times the y over the s, we are going to have s dy over the x. Then minus s times x, we are going to have s squared d squared y over the s squared. Then the next thing we are quickly going to do is to simplify this function. How do we simplify? We see that we have this square y over the s square in two places. So we need to merge them together 
by, by factorizing, right? Yes, by factorization method. Then we are going to have y is equal to s squared over 2 minus now. Understand that all we are going to take is to take the coefficient of this d square y over the s squared. So the first coefficient is s squared over 2, while the second coefficient is minus s squared. So you put that here, minus s squared all in a closed bracket. Then multiply by d square y over the s squared. Then plus x dy over the x. Now guys, please come here. S squared over 2 minus s squared is the same thing as s squared over 2 minus x over 1. Now the LCM of 2 and 1 is 2. Guys, now 2 divided by 2 is 1. And 1 times the numerator is s squared. Now 2 divided by 1 is 2 and 2 times minus s squared are going to have minus 2 s squared. Automatically, s squared minus 2 s squared, we are going to have minus s squared over 2. So guys, when we simplify what we have inside this bracket, just as we have done here, this is the resulting output. Then, we are going to have y is equal to minus x squared over 2, d squared y over the x squared. Then plus x dy over the x. All we need to do now is to arrange this equation. How do we arrange? We will bring them in the order of their degree. So this we come first. The, the power of 2 will come first. Second order will come first. Followed by first order, then before 1, right? So we are going to arrange this. And how do we arrange it? We are going to take everything at the right hand side to the left hand side so that the right hand side will be empty. We are going to put down 0 there. Every other thing we move them to the left hand side. And for us to do that, when we move this first function to this end, we are going to have x squared over 2, d square y over the x squared. Then when we move this, we are going to have plus x dy over the x. Now understand that when this crosses, we are going to have this to be what minus. When this crosses from the left, right hand side to the left hand side, it's going to turn minus. Why when this one crosses, it turns positive, right? So that this is not crossing. It's just y. Then at the right hand side, what we have there is zero, guys. This is the answer. We can decide to eliminate this fraction. And how do we eliminate the fraction? In as much as the denominator that we want to eliminate here is 2, we will just multiply this whole equation by 2. And when we multiply this whole equation by 2, we are going to have s squared d squared y over the s squared minus 2x dy over dx plus 2y is equal to 2 times 0 is 0. Now when we multiply this by 2, 2 cancel out to we have this. When we multiply this by 2, the 2 affects what the x here. So we now have minus 2x. And when we multiply y by 2, we have 2y equal to when we multiply 0 by 2, we have this. So based on the outcome we have here, this equation is what? Second order differential equation. So guys, this is very simple, but you see that without knowing the boundary condition, you will not be able to derive differential equations from any given function that involves arbitrary constants without one two three or as the case in this video please if you are new in this youtube channel ensure you subscribe to this youtube page like this current video you just watched turn on the notification bell so that anytime we upload my blue content you will be notified and finally don't forget to make your comment at the comment section so that when we go through it, we will know the areas we need to improve, how we have helped you, and the areas we need to help you more to become masters. See you guys in the next video. Now, guys, in the next video, we are going to be looking at first order differential equation. It's going to be my my blog. Now you can quickly slide down to the description where you will find the link to the next video. See you guys in the